Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be shooting the 22 LR by Savage. A uh, little semi-automatic. It's the 64F is the model number. Uh, they make a bolt action as well. I think it's the 63F. So, um, seen a couple reviews on these things and thought I might just give it a whirl and see how, uh, see how it does. Um, you know, Savage makes a good rifle. Uh, I own several Savages. Um, one I deer hunt with, um, the, the, the 270 I bought probably over 20 something years ago and uh, it's never failed me. Uh, well, I missed a few deer with it, but but, <laughs> but as far as functioning, uh, they, they work fine, they work well. So, uh, so I figured I'd just run a few mags through it. Uh, it's got a, a nice little camo pattern on the, uh, on the stock and uh we'll see you know we'll give it a whirl and see what it'll do uh it comes with a 10 round mag i only have just just one mag but you can buy some uh after aftermarket you know places you know probably you know gun broker or uh, midland or, or midway i'm sorry uh, one of them them folks there any joe bob's outfitters or uh several of them places like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna order me some so that i can have you know you know 10 rounds just ain't enough right <laughs> so um yeah today i'm just gonna load a few mags shoot through it see how i like it see how it check the trigger out and uh see if it's see if it's accurate you know i don't know you know we'll see we'll see together okay so it's got a little charging handle there just like that puts one in pretty accurate I'm shooting that uh, pass-through target right there next to my pond let's see okay let me shoot that little dirt pile back there oh yeah triggers not too bad um, may take this thing squirrel hunting this year see what I can do uh, it's pretty accurate just uh, just by just quick 10 round test there but uh yeah it's got a little awkward release there you got to push forward to take it out and you have to push forward to put it put it in so it's uh it's kind of mechanical both ways but we'll go ahead and load another another mag up let's see here it's not that loud either you know, it's typical 22 LR. I'm shooting some 40 grain Federals out of this uh, gun today. I figured I'd try some 22. I got a bunch of 22 rounds. So I figured I'd just shoot some today. Some light recoil stuff. <laughs> uh, if you've uh, watched any of my videos in the past, I shoot a lot of Big calibers, I shoot, you know, 12 gauge, I shoot, uh, you know, 223, 556, 300 blackout. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I ever did a review on my 6.5 Creedmoor or 270 or a 300 Win Mag, but uh, that's probably coming, coming soon, I guess. Uh, let's see, like I said, you got a tab right at the bottom little lever you got to push up push in you'll hear it click and she's good to go you got a safety on the side here so it's not too bad you can work it with your thumb if you're right-handed i don't know if they make a left-handed model but some savages do come in left-hand models but um but whether you're right or left you can still shoot this rifle pretty pretty accurate so you got it on safe We we'll charge one in. We're going hot. All right, let's try that pass through target again. A little close for my metal target, so I'm not going to shoot them with this gun. Uh, let me rapid fire again. And let's see what uh, see if it get a hang up here. Man, that's automatic. Automatic. Um, I also have a uh, Ruger 1022, same way, man. Them, them little 22s are 
they're accurate, they function, they uh, never let me down. Now on my 1022 Ruger, I did have a mag I bought. It wasn't a Ruger mag, it was a uh, aftermarket some company made. But it was a 25 rounder and I liked them little 25 round magazines. For target practicing and uh i mean in in that that mag it was a it was a clear mag i forget the, the company's name but uh some of you out there may know what, who, what i'm talking about i never could feed it it wouldn't chamber it when i'd pull the charge and handle back it wouldn't cha put one in the, the chamber and uh so one day i took it out shooting and that's the only mag i had and i had a 10 round mag that it came with and I had that, so I figured I'd load it a few times, shoot some, shoot some clay targets or uh, targets I had, a little metal target, spinning target I had. <laughs> All I had that day was that 10 round that would work. I had to, you know, I tried everything in the world to get that other mag to work, and it wouldn't do it. So I try to stick with the, the name brand, you know, the Ruger or the Savage mags or whatever. I try to stick with that instead of buying these. Uh, these aftermarket stuff because you know you don't know if it's going to work or not you done paid for it they don't take them back most of the time but uh yeah so far i like this rifle man this is this is nice the only thing is they only come in 10 round mags if um if they come with 15 or 20 round mags if you know of any let me know hit me up in the comments below but I haven't found any yet. This gun has been out for a while, so uh, it seems like they they would have did that, do, do that. So, um, but it's perfect for hunting. If you're going squirrel or rabbit hunting, ten rounds is all you need. But uh, like me, I like to come out my property and shoot, and uh, multiple times. Uh, so let's uh, put one in. And let's run another mag through it. See what it does. That's, uh, that's good stuff there. Uh, smell that gunpowder, man. That's, that's freedom, right? So, like, yeah, like I said, it's kind of a, it's almost a two-hand operation. That's kind of a little drawback, but, you know, I can live with that, I guess. I've lived with uh, a lot worse, that's for sure. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you believe in the Second Amendment, uh, you need to subscribe because this channel is all about the Second Amendment, uh, exercising our our uh, our rights, the Constitution, and uh, look, that's worth the subscription right there, right? So, hey, appreciate you watching the video. As always, stay prepared, and we'll see you next time.